Well, it's part two, and uh, what we're actually going to be doing here is putting some new pickups into um, a, a scratch plate here that's got uh, Duncan Design pickups, uh, but these are genuine. This is a lovely hot rail um, pickup here, single coil for the neck position. And I've just been looking at the instructions here. It's all very clear. What you've got to do is you've got to trace, this is the old pickup, I've taken it out, and I'm looking here and you can see you've got a, you've got a, a red wire, uh, which I've actually just cut. I've just cut the red wire because it's going into the solder. We're going to have to go in there and soften that solder, but I don't want to soften the solder, pull this wire out, and pull the others out as well. So I've just cut this one back. You see you've got a red there, and then you've got a white that goes to the third position here. It's all quite clear in the instructions. Then the new pickup, um, you have the red and the white, you just join those together and bear them off, you don't use them. And you're left with a green and a clear one, which you put together, and then the black one. Now the clear and the green goes to the volume pot, and then the black one will go to this third position here on your toggle switch. So we've got the black wire to the third pole there, and then the green and the bare wire soldered to this pot here. And I've just cut the two old ones off and left them because you won't, uh, they won't uh, do anything. They'll be safe there. Okay, so we've got the, um, the Seymour Duncan in and uh, that was wired up uh, just as I've explained. Um, and I've just put in the, this Seymour Duncan one here, this, and uh, these screws were, too long now just before you see the routing in this body is shallower than some guitars so when you are putting these pickups in check with a little depth the room make sure you see what depth you've got here and then make sure these aren't longer because you'll be trying to get the scratch plate in and there's something wobbling and that so everything's clear everything is not as high as the height of these routed pieces in the body right now we're just putting in the um the push pull switch here this is going to change this from single to um uh, humbucking and I've chosen a point here that's going to sit nice and clear at the back there and here's the little switch keep one washer at the back and then the washer and nut that sits on the top goes through the scratch plate now when you drill this hole make sure it's just a little bit more diameter than this screw obviously but start with a tiny little small drill make a little pilot hole and then go in with a full one or you could be way all over the place with the drill and that would be horrible and here it is it's all finished we've got the little switch has been put in here now the red and white wire come from the humbucker here okay you join that there you bridge this one here to the volume you join the so it's the green and the bare ones to a volume on each pickup and then finally the black one here was over to this first position now it's important you've got to have there's there's your earth i've just you know this has all just been driving i'm just running it through the amplifier and it'll work so i was really pleased there's your earth and then finally here you've got your input jack now there's a white wire, there's, a, there's an outer, a bare one here, and I connected that first to here, and not this one, and it didn't work. So swap them over, it works perfectly. Not sure about this one, um, basically it's, it's not necessary, so I shall tidy that up and uh, leave it alone. And here the black just goes to the outer part. Can you see there? Again, I've just dried them because we just wanted to make sure everything was working before we put it all together, which we can now confidently do. So, um, yeah, it's all uh, working and the, the humbuck is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, we'll get to that in a moment. But uh, we just need to now, it's strung up and it's settling in. It's going out of tune a little bit. We just want to look at these pickups. Now, you don't want to set up pickups too close to the strings because the magnetic pull will actually slow the oscillation and um, you'll, lose, you'll, you'll lose sustain. 
So, but you know, these can come up a little bit. So basically just, let's keep the volume the same and then screw up to there. You normally find that you can get away, see that's actually louder. You can hear that. Now the bass, with that sustain, you hear that? And you get to an optimum point. It's too much. Just back it off there. And you get a nice balance. Got this in the full home um, bug in position. Maybe just get a little bit more up there. Just bring that up a little bit. You want to get the most out of this pickup. Because this one sounds you know, really good when you give it some uh, punch. Uh, sound, it's gonna go on for ages, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna carry on and say that uh, um, I think that's a wrap. Thank you for watching. I hope it's helped.